we're the Wagner cheerleaders, and you're watching big game coverage on KSAT 12. All right, the big game and a big game covers is the undefeated and six-ranked Smithson Valley Rangers facing the Wagner Thunderbirds. This is the Thunderbirds season opener, district opener at the same time. The Rangers are 3-0. and Wagner answers. Isaiah Williams on the quarterback keeper goes right up the middle on the five-yard score. They go for two and get it. Eight to three Thunderbirds. Rangers cough it up deep in their own territory. The ball slips out of the quarterback's hand. It's ruled a fumble. Alex Bolden falls on the ball. Wagner takes over in a great position. L.J. Butler, who returned to Wagner after flirting with Judson, makes the Rangers pay. Butler finds the end zone. 15 to three Wagner at the break. Second half. Rangers on the attack. New quarterback in for the Rangers. Jacob Cernahaus with the quick pass. It is almost tipped, but the Maverick Freeland there snags it and scores from four yards out as a five-point game. The Rangers aren't done. This time on the ground, Gabe Hoskins makes his way through the Wagner defense, finds the end zone for the 16 yards away. They go for two, and they get it. Smith Valley takes the lead 18-50. Now the Rangers leading 21-15 when Wagner strikes again. Quarterback Isaiah Williams finds Matthew Sam, goes for it, and it's, he's got it. Look at this. Great catch. It's now 21-all. If they make the extra point, they take the lead, but it's partially blocked, and we're tied at 21-all. We're headed to overtime. Rangers have to settle for a field goal. They're up 24-21, but LJ Butler is able to score at the goal line. Wagner pulls it out in overtime 27 24. I'm just very, very excited. We fought through four hard quarters, never gave up. Just proud of all, all glory goes to my old line. We just stay true to what we do. We just we smash my football team, get the ball, run it down their throat. And it was working for us, so we kept doing it. All right, let's head up to Unicorn Stadium. Third rank, Judson Rockets taking on defeated New Braunfels in the district opener 27-6 day after losing to DeSoto last week, 37-0. Justin up 10-0 early in the third quarter. DeAnthony Lewis gets a handoff at midfield, hits the hole, races off. 50-yard touchdown run puts the Rockets up by 17 to nothing. He's he somersaults his way into the end zone. The final from Unicorn Stadium is New Braunfels Falls 37-14. Check out this cool slow motion shot from our photographer Billy Caldera of the East Central Hornets taking the field against Steele. Knights on the attack midway through the first quarter. And Marian Contreras gets it on the jet sweep to the near sideline coming right at you. He's tackled at the seven-yard line. They're a gain of 19. A few plays later, Michael Boyton takes a handoff, outruns the defense, dies for the pylon. He is in for the seven-yard score. Seven I think lead the final from the district 27 6 8 contest is East Central Falls to steal 24 to 6. Let's head to Dragons team. Southwest taking on Layman. Non district game, second quarter. Dragons up 13 to 10, going for it on fourth and goal at the three. Nathan Gomez hits Trey Cano for the touchdown. Extra point good. Southwest takes the lead 20 to 10. Let's head to the big game coverage scoreboard for the first time tonight for that final. And as you can see, it is Southwest over, I should say, Layman over Southwest 26 to 20. Wagner Downing Smith of Valley 27 and 24. Elsewhere, Judson and New Braunfels not. Just with a big win, 37-14, and steal over East Central, 24-6. It's Hawaiian night over at Hero Stadium. Fourth-ranked Brandeis taking on MacArthur. Remember, this is a district game after the Broncos are relocated to 28-6A. Second quarter, game tied at 7. Broncos ball, Nico Garcia dances around in the pocket, eludes the rush, then fires downfield for Julian Izagari. He's got it. That's a gain of 22 yards down to the 20-yard line a few plays later. They punch it in. Garcia keeps it himself, walks in for the three-yard score. Great blocking by the offensive line. The final from Heroes is... MacArthur Falls 35 to 7. The Johnson Jaguars taking on Leah Comalander Stadium. Showdown District 28-6A. Jaguars bite first. Ty Reasoner with a quick pass to Matthew Rodriguez, who makes a nice move to get all the way down to the three-yard line. A pickup of 21 yards. Two plays later, Rodriguez is the man in motion, takes a handoff this time, gets it to the outside, in for the first touchdown of the game. Jaguars go up 7-0. The final from Comalander Stadium. Johnson with a big win, 42 to 7. The Marshall Rams wield into battle axe as they take the field of Ferris Stadium for the second half of their game against O'Connor. Rams down 24-14. Dylan Cooper dumps it off on a screen pass to Josiah Garcia. Watch this run. He finds the scene, races to the end zone, but the ball pops out at the one-yard line. It rolls into the end zone. The Rams recover it there for the 42-yard touchdown. Extra point, no good, so it's still 24-20. O'Connor, can the Rams pull off the upset? And the answer is... They do, 36-33. Harlan Hawks in 6A now, and they are already in the middle of district play in 29-6A against Hatton at Gustafson Stadium. Jaden Williams comes up with a big hit on this play, knocking the ball loose, and Josu, uh, Josu Hernandez jumps on it, and that's a fumble tap ball. Third and goal now from the five. Now for tap, Diego Martinez takes a pitch. He's able to get into the end zone. Fumbles the ball two, but it looks like he'd already crossed the goal line. For that matter, his teammate recovers. 7-0 tap. Let's head back to the big game cover scoreboard for that final as well. Tap gets a big win, 28-7. It was Marshall of O'Connor, 36-33 elsewhere in this 
battle between Brandeis and MacArthur, 35 to 7. The Broncos with the win, and Johnson over Lee, 42 to 7. Bernie Greyhounds in a District 14-4A Division One showdown with the Pleasant and Eagles tonight. Already up 2 nothing following the safety. The Greyhounds attack again. Rashawn Galloway running on the option pitches it to J.P. Castro, who breaks a tackle and gets inside the Pleasant and 10. Few plays later, Kobe Hunter is in going to score the short touchdown. They go for two. They get it now. Lead 10 nothing. Let's check the final from Bernie now. The Greyhounds get the win, 45 to 20. Message from Cardinal fans at Southside tonight for the Somerset Bulldogs, and they sure did. Already up 33 to nothing. Matthew Castaneda and Nicola Hernandez team up to bring down the Bulldogs quarterback that appears to be in the end zone for safety, but it's ruled just outside the end zone. The final from Southside. The Cardinals get the big shutout, 33 to nothing. St. Anthony Cheerleaders welcome us to Benson Stadium at UIW. Yellow Jackets taking on St. John Paul II out of Corpus Christi. St. Anthony in the red zone going for it on fourth and 10. Juan Sierra keeps it himself, but he's tackled at the eight yard line. Turnover and downs, and JP2 takes advantage. Ensuing drive, Oscar Ozuna takes it in himself right up the middle, breaks a pair of tackles, powers his way for the 15 yard score. They go for two, convert to go up 14 to nine. They had to call the game early to do a blown fuse on a light stand. The final from UIW Stadium is 35 to nine. Corpus Christi, St. John Paul II. And Tony and Chuliers have a lot to yell about tonight. The Apaches were already up by 39 in the fourth, and they would add to it. Javante Johnson takes the ball, starts up the middle, then cuts to the outside, picks up 30 yards to get inside the 10 of the Lions. Cole Zay on the play action pass. As a result, finds Eric Diaz, who sheds two blockers, gets by, and is able to score 49 to 3. Antonian. Take a look at these finals now for you. Antonio over sacks. 49 to 10. It was St. Anthony falling tonight, 35 to 9 in their home game over at UIW. Bernie over Pleasanton, 45 to 20. A shutout for Southside over Somerset, 33 to nothing. We have much more to come, including our big game coverage road trip, fan cam, and more highlights and more scores. But first, let's listen to the Stockdale Brahma marching band. <laughs> 